Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to look at the mkdir command. The mkdir command is used to create new directories or to make new directory. Uh, let's go to our tech folder first, tech directory. Now if you want to create a directory in this tech folder, then you can type mkdir that stands for make directory and you can type the name of that directory for example dir1 so if we look at the list then you can see uh, we just created this dir1 uh, directory now let's make one more directory mkdir dir2 if we see the list then we can see now we have dir1 and dir2 and you can also create multiple directories at once uh, you can type mkdir and type dir3 space dir4 space dir5 and so on so you have to uh, use the mkdir followed by space and the names of the directories that you want to create now if we look at the list then we can see these three new directories that we just created with just uh, one step now if you want to create a new directory inside this dir1 you can either go inside the dir1 and use the mkdir command or you can also make the directory inside the dir1 from your present working directory that is uh, from the tech directory you can create a new directory for this dir1 uh, you just have to use the full path that is type mkdir and give the full path that is root slash tech slash dir1 and type the name of the directory that you want to create for example new dir then press the enter now if you go inside the dir1 and type ls then you will see the new dir is created if you want to create some other directories inside new dir for example uh, let's just go to the new dir first now if you type ls then uh, it's an empty directory we don't have any files or folders inside this new dir but if you want to create a directory for example the name of the directory is first and inside that first you want to create second directory and inside the second you want third directory and so on then you can do it using the minus p attribute so just type mkdir then minus p and let's say you want to create the directory named first in this new dir then type first and you want to create a directory named second inside this first directory then slash second and inside the second directory you want to create the third directory then press uh, slash third and you can do it over and over again until you get all the directories that you want to create then press enter now uh, what we just did is inside this new dir we made the directory named first and inside this first directory we made another directory named second and inside this second directory we made one more directory named third so let's check if we did it successfully or not so in the new dir there should be the directory called first yes we have the first directory now let's get inside this first inside this directory we should have the directory named second so let's see yes we got second directory and inside this second directory we must have the third directory this one let's check yes so using this minus p attribute you can create new directory inside new directory which is really helpful and that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with some new videos 
Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.